I'm an Eolin fanboy, even though I'm by far no pro. I like the motions I know and here and there I add some new bindings to my knowledge. But let's be honest, the vanilla version of Neovim is not very pretty and misses a lot of features modern IDEs do have. So bottom line you have two possibilities. Either you configure it yourself, which is a pain in the peach, or you just go with an existing distribution, but to be honest again there are two bloated most of the time from my personal point of view, so let's not talk too much and take the pain in the peach way. I'm starting with a fresh installation of NeoVim in version 0.9.5. First of all, create a nvim subfolder inside your .config in your home directory. In the nvim folder, create a subfolder called Lua as well as a file called init.lua. Now we're almost there. Head over to the Lua subfolder and create a directory called Hugat Pound, and inside that another subfolder called Core. In the Hugat Pound subfolder, create a file called Lazy.lua. Congratulations, that was enough of creating folders and files for now. If you did everything correctly, your resulting file structure should look like as shown in the following. Let me run the tree command from the nvim subfolder to show the hierarchy. We're going to use lazy.nvim as a plugin manager for NeoVim. Head over to the GitHub repository I posted in the description box. Copy the snippet of the first box and head over to the lazy.lua file we just created in the hookout pound subfolder. Paste it there, save and exit, go back to the website and copy the snippet of the second box which needs to be pasted in the same file as the first snippet. Now we need to adapt the parameter of the setup function call. Replace the content of the function call with empty curly brackets and again, do not forget to save and exit here now again. Go and edit the init.lua file in the nvim subfolder inside .config. Here we need to make it require the lazy subfolder under who got pound. This was actually enough of pasting and saving to make the lazy plugin manager work in NeoVim. Let's test it out. As you can see, lazy works. Now we need to define a bunch of plugins which lazy can install afterwards. For this purpose, go to the function called inside lazy.lua and edit the part with the curly brackets we just left empty. This is the part which holds the plugins to be managed by lazy. The first plugin I want to install is a theme to make everything a little bit prettier. Of course, feel free to use one you actually like more than this one. In order to not just install it, but make NeoVim use it, we need to define the following function to run the appropriate Wim command. By running color scheme and the name of the respective scheme we just installed, we apply the theme to NeoVim. If you now restart NeoVim, it should immediately apply the freshly installed theme. Make sure every column is set and there is no syntax error. Restart NeoVim and optionally run the lazy command to see what's going on, or for example, update, install and sync further plugins at this point. In order to check now whether everything was installed correctly, I will edit a Python file to see whether syntax highlighting is enabled. As you can see, it seems to work. Defining the plugins within the curly brackets of the lazy.lua file is actually not the cleanest way to go, but it will definitely work as you can see. To make it a little bit cleaner, we will define a dedicated plugins folder where we define each plugin separately. Specify an arbitrary file name for your plugin and point it to the respective repository to retrieve it from. As you can see in this specific case, I make it retrieve the color scheme kanagawa.nvim from the user rebelot. And again, I configure it to use the respective color scheme. Everything exactly the same, but in a dedicated file for just this specific plugin. What I will do now is I will delete the content in the curly brackets of the lazy.lua file and make it retrieve the plugins from the plugins folder. The last few steps for the basic configuration are dedicated to showing line numbers and defining a leading key for later macros we are going to define, for example in the context of the file explorer we are going to install. The following lines can be added to the init.lua in order to show relative line numbers, which are from my personal point of view more helpful than the absolute line numbers, as you can use them to relatively jump a certain amount of lines up or down. Feel free to use whichever version you like more. What we will do now is we are going to install another plugin, which gives us that iconic status line which appears even cooler if you have installed appropriate patched fonts. I will attach the so-called nerd fonts to the description box, so feel free to download and install them. I will install the Lua line plugin as my go-to status line, where Lua line on the other hand depends on certain other packages, which will be defined in the following. As a last step to make NeoVim use Lua line as a status line, we need to head over to the init.lua file and require it over there, 
calling the setup method on the require statement as shown. Afterwards, restarting NeoVim, we should see the status line with its patched fonts. The very last step of this video will be to install a file browser, but using it without specifying a leader key would be a pain in the peach again, as you would have to run a colon and the command to toggle the file browser all the time. So that's why we set the leader key to space to have a shorthand for calling certain commands. What you see here is that I set the command for toggling the file browser to leader F, like F for file browser, which is for me easy to remember. Feel free to use whatever shorthand you can remember best. Of course, do not forget to define the repository to retrieve the file browser plugin from, otherwise Lazy will not know how to respectively where to install it from. That's it for today's basic configuration of NeoVim in about 5 minutes. If you liked it, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Let me know you want to have further tutorials on this topic and until then, keep coding and cheers.